What's the deal with the mask? So, shout out to the bro, Blue Rat. Um, it was just like, I ain't had no haircut and I was on the way to South by Southwest and we was in the crib picking out the fit to wear for the four shooters from the block performance. And I was like, I ain't got no cut, man, I'm tweaking. And he like, man, I got this brand, one-on-one, mask. All right, let me see it. Yeah, let's do it. So went to Austin, Texas. Shout out to AZ and his whole team. Uh, that's where I did my from shooters, four shooters only performance from the block. And it went up, bro, like crazy, like the day it dropped. And I knew it was like crazy because he dropped it like the next day. And he was dropping everybody else's like two, three days after, but he dropped mine instantly and it went up. And um, I ain't looked back since, like everything just been going up since last March. And um, I'm looking forward to going back to South by Southwest this year. And the mass has just been a staple since then. And I know Four Shooters is from Atlanta, so I'm out here in Atlanta today. Uh, I just left the pop up and the mass was a big thing over there. People were gravitating to it. And I don't wear it like every day. This ain't like my thing to do. This ain't like my image or nothing like that. It was just a outfit thing and like people started liking it. They want me to wear it. So I got this bitch on, shit. Now, those statistics from the first time you had a chance to perform at South by Southwest on that platform, do you think it had anything to do with the mask itself? Yeah, for sure. It played like 50-50. The mask was crazy and we knew like what it was gonna do, like bring the shot value anonymous factor to make people come to my page. Like I said, everything is strategic and now the game is about marketing. So I'm all here for it. Like I'm gonna put that shit on, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm coming with energy too. So it's just something refreshing and different. So I'm running with it. It's like a new style for me and I've been tackling it and I've been in my pocket with it. Now, if I heard you correctly, you said this is a one of one mask? Yeah, you ain't gonna find it nowhere. And you only have one version of this mask? One version, but we trying to make something work where we could have everybody around here walking with them because everybody wanted to buy it. Like, it would have instantly sold out like crazy. People still ask me to this day, like, yo, what's up with it? Where can I get it? So we're working on something. So because this is your one and only version of this mask that exists in real life, uh, what's the longest you've actually worn the mask? And yeah, you know, how do you keep up with the hygiene of the mask? And I, when do you uh, wear it and decide not to wear it? So things of that nature. I haven't wore this mask since last March, South by Southwest. I actually gave it back to Burad and I was like, yo, AZ doing a pop up, you know what I'm saying? That's where I, that's where this originated from, from the block. So I needed the mask because, on a marketing strategy standpoint, for those people who didn't follow me but they seen it, if I would have walked in there just my regular bare face, it would have just been like, okay, cool. They would have played my song. I would have had to let them know. But when I walked in with the mask, it was like a ghost came in there and they was just like shocked about it. So I know what it does. You just got to do it at the right time. I don't do it all the time.